She's called Miss Evie. When she worked for the Obama family, she was called Turdi, Mr. Turdi, because at the time, she was still a man. Sebagai laki-laki aja, saya nggak nggak pernah uh, ditunjukkan uh, depan Pak Barak saya pakai baju perempuan, konyol-konyol, nggak seperti itu. Saya tetap laki-laki. That changed when the Obama family left Indonesia. Turdi started wearing dresses and makeup, and began working in the sex industry. Miss Evi became a kup kup malam, a night butterfly. But life on the streets was very hard and dangerous. The police often organized raids. Seminggu dua kali ada razia. Bahkan saya kan pernah ditangkap razia, dibotakin. Itulah resiko ya, resiko kup kup malam memang itu. So in 1985, she suddenly decided to stop. Sudah saya lepas semuanya. Saya gua nggak punya pakaian perempuan. Saya nggak punya alat makeup supaya. She never wore a dress again. Life is much safer, she says, if she dresses like a man. But deep down, she still feels like a woman. Transsexuelen in Indonesia have weinig to choose. They live on places like this and they live on the street, from the prostitution or as a And if you want something else, then you have it hard. Your whole life long. That you always for Obama have gezorgd, verandert daar niks aan. The job with the Obama family was the last regular job she ever held. Miss Evie is now 66, lives in a slum, and washes clothes to scrape by. It's sulit lah. Kalau kita pikir-pikir sulit. Sulit tetap sulit ya. 